So uh, the Israeli president had a bit of a tense exchange with reporters during a press conference. We want to share this moment with you. Uh, he is considered to be mild-mannered um, as a leader, but uh, watch his reaction to questions about the retaliatory strikes that are happening in Gaza. He seemed to hold the people of Gaza responsible for not trying to remove No, well, I'll Hamas. tell you. Now, let me finish. Do you my hold question. a missile in your kitchen? in your living room. Let, can I ask my question? A missile sir. that is sent on our head here, and if there will be a siren, it's a missile from okay. that kitchen. With all due respect, if you have a missile in your <laughs> kitchen and you want to shoot it at me, am I allowed to defend myself? Yes. No, no one That's is, the situation. No one is, but the question is this. Ultimately, you can't remove the people of Gaza. They're going to be stuck in this neighborhood. So we like have to fight. What do you want us to do? Well, so we tell them, get what? out. And we fight against the launchers. We are fighting terror. Humanity has to decide. Are we accommodating terror or are we fighting terror? We are fighting terror. I agree. There are many, many innocent Palestinians who don't agree to this. But unfortunately, in their homes, there are missiles sh shooting at us, at my children, at the entire nation of Israel. We have to defend ourselves. We have the full right to do so. And it's about time that the world understands it. This is the tragedy of using terror. And terror has no, there's no mercy to terror. He also called out media organizations during that moment, too. He wants all media organizations to label Hamas as a terrorist organization. Um, having spent a lot of time in that part of the world, uh, a couple things come to mind. Even 20 years ago, when Yasser Arafat was alive, and between the years 2000 and 2005, the biggest problem Israel had at the time was the suicide bombings. They could not stop them. They could not get them under control. They hit them at weddings. They hit them at bus stops. Uh, all over Israel. And that's when they started to build that wall that separates Israel proper from the West Bank. And then when Ariel Sharon pulled out of Gaza in 2005, the question was, you know, what, what, what do we do now to protect ourselves? And they came to this grand conclusion toward, I'd, I'd say, five years ago, Dana, now, where they built this fence uh, with a wall that they thought was loaded with electronics that could protect them um, forever, and clearly that failed. Uh, in the summer of 2006, on the northern part of Israel, uh, with the border with Lebanon, the Israelis and Hezbollah fought a war that summer, it lasted six to eight weeks, and this was, I, I would argue, this it, it was a crude form of warfare on behalf of Hezbollah. They had rockets in their homes called katushas. Now, this is, what, 15, 16 years ago? Those rockets had no ability to, uh, they had no GPS. You could not target them. You're essentially running out in your driveway, shooting off a Katusha rocket, and maybe it hits a house, or maybe it hits a kibbutz, or maybe it takes out Israelis. Um, but the Israelis had cleared out all the northern part of their country, so the amount of loss of life was minimal. Um, and what many people are watching right now, we just showed you the map in southwestern Israel. We'll show you the map a bit later, too, about northern Israel. That part of the border has held so far. There's been a few threats, but the international community is watching to see whether or not Hezbollah takes action in the north. Hezbollah, believe it or not, is so much more equipped than Hamas is in Gaza. So keep that in mind as we cover this. It's really right. good that. perspective on that. And also, please join the Fox Corporation in supporting the Israeli Emergency Fund. Your money will go to services like aid for military families, equipment for public hospitals, and trauma counseling for the thousands living in bomb shelters. You can visit the United Jewish Appeals website or just scan the QR code on the screen if you would like to donate and join us yes, in that Yes, and effort. they could use that, right?